Hi, I'm John Freestone. I'm the Deputy Medical Director for Primary and Urgent Care in Ayrshire and Arran. I'm here today with Susan Bailey, who's a community pharmacist of 18 years. Um, she's local to my uh, practice and today I thought we'd ask Susan a couple of questions about how things are in practice at the moment. Hi Susan. Hi John, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, Susan, so could you give me a bit of detail about the services you provide in your practice and how things are at the moment? Yes John, certainly. Um, the Covid pandemic has had a tremendous impact on community pharmacy. Um, we have seen a huge increase in demand for our services, particularly the Pharmacy First Service, which was previously known as the Minor Ailment Service. We see dozens of patients on a daily basis, either through telephone or face to face, um, and we can treat an ever growing list of ailments. Uh, we can also provide advice and refer on to an appropriate healthcare professional where appropriate. We also do hundreds of repeat prescriptions daily from GP surgeries that involves the only clinically checked, labelled, dispensed, which on top of the current climate of drug shortages and an increased number of prescriptions because of COVID is proving very timely. We also have well over a thousand patients registered under the Medicine Care and Review Service. So that's patients that are on serial prescriptions and they all need managed appropriately as well. Could you expand a little more on the services you provide in the community pharmacy? Absolutely, John. Um, as I said, the main service we provide here is the Pharmacy First service. Uh, we can treat a vast amount of ailments, including urinary tract infections, impetigo, skin infections, including cellulitis and shingles. Uh, as a prescriber now, I certainly feel more competent in prescribing more complicated ailments rather than referring on to the GP. Pharmacies are soon going to become the main go-to for ear, nose and throat complaints, which I feel is going to be a massive benefit for the, our communities and also to alleviate any pressure on GPs. I think during the COVID pandemic, it became apparent how accessible community pharmacy was. So as well as our own private flu vaccination service, we then were able to adapt and help the NHS with their free eligible flu vaccinations. We also provide a free smoking cessation service, sexual health services such as emergency hormonal contraception and bridging contraception. We also have blister pack patients, well over 100, uh, that need extra help with their medications so they all need prepared and checked, as well as a free delivery service. Community pharmacy has never been so busy. Thanks, Susan. Thanks for speaking to me today. Great. Lovely to talk to you, John. If you require any more information on what the services that community pharmacy provides, you can ch look, check that out in the NHS Inform.